I'm so over being sick. I'm so over feeling bad. Hey guys, I hope you guys are all doing really well. Um, I am visiting my sister right now. I'm still not feeling really well, but I don't get to see her very often. So she's actually at a conference. I'm waiting in her hotel room. <coughs> um, I just figured I'm gonna be feeling bad anyway, so I'm just gonna enjoy the day with her. So we're gonna spend some time together. But while I was waiting, I thought maybe I would do kind of a tidbit. I haven't done a tidbit in a while, and I need to get back into making videos. You guys, I've been sick for over a month. Like, this is ridiculous. So, sorry if this is a little bit wobbly. I'm holding it with my arm, but um, I wanted to do a video on feeling defeated because you guys, I have had some hard moments this month and one of my friends yesterday, was it yesterday or the day before texted me and said, man Jeannie, like I'm encouraged by your attitude through all this and stuff and I'm like, listen, you do not see when I have breakdowns and like this morning, <coughs> this morning I woke up and felt super, super defeated. Um, I was telling my husband that like, you know, you just get tired of feeling sick and you feel tired of feeling tired and I told him that I just felt woke up feeling so defeated. I felt so Like I didn't have hope anymore, you know And I think once you start having those feelings no matter what you're going through whether it's sickness or it's stresses of life or it's work or it's school it's so easy to let those defeated feelings turn into more defeated feelings and then it just kind of snowballs and number one i feel like it really helped that i voiced that to him because sometimes i feel like when we feel bad or we feel defeated the number one thing we do is we retreat and we don't tell anybody and we just kind of deal with those feelings by ourselves, and I feel like a lot of times that is super dangerous so number one I would say if you're feeling defeated tell someone tell someone that you're having a hard time tell someone that you know you need some encouragement you know and I think that that number one not just because you're telling someone but because you're vocalizing that you're having a hard time it's acknowledging it you know and once you acknowledge it then you can kind of combat it and after that you know I just kind of looked at my kids you know and i reminded myself of the good things the good things the good things and i also put things into perspective i thought you know i've been sick it's been over a month of literally me being in bed but then i think oh my goodness there are people who have chronic illnesses there are people who suffer for years and years and years for for, from things way way worse than shingles and pneumonia and bronchitis you know there is people who deal with really hard health issues every day so I told myself Jeannie it's not that bad it's not that bad you have a loving husband that's been taking care of you you have so many wonderful friends and family that have blessed you that are helping with the kids that have brought meals you know like this has been such a huge eye-opener on how blessed I've been so I just started thinking about those things and I started being thankful and thankful and thankful and I think that that's just kind of what you got to do when you're feeling bad when you're feeling defeated you got to think of the things that you have victory over things that you are thankful for things that are positive in your life because once you start going down that road of oh this sucks too and that sucks too and this sucks too then all of a sudden you feel like everything sucks and everything does not suck it's just you feel sucky right now but everything does not suck so if you're feeling defeated today know that it is you know you might be in a phase or a time in your life where things are hard and things might seem hopeless in the moment but try to think of those things that are good try to think think of the things that you're thankful for things that you know are good in your life and dwell on those things do not dwell on the negative um and hopefully you'll get out of it soon you guys i I'm so over being sick. I'm so over feeling bad. I have cried about it. I've prayed about it. I've pleaded with God about it. And I truly believe when I come out of this, I am going to have a new motivation, a new strength, a new passion, a new energy for life. Because realizing that when you can't do things, when you realize you can't do things, you're like, when I can do things, I'm going to do them and I'm going to do them really good. So I feel like in that sense, it's been good for me because it's been motivating me to be like, you know what? I gotta take my life up a notch when I can. So anyways, I hope in some way that was helpful to you guys. I really love you guys. My arm is killing me from holding this camera. So anyways, I hope you guys are all doing really well and I'll talk to you later. Bye.